Have fun chilling for Israel and gay sex. Neocons sad. <laughs> really? You're really going to go with that? What is it with you Groypers and thinking that I shill for Israel? I don't particularly like the Israeli government because of some stuff it did to the United States. And because it is really shady. Now, do I hate Israel with my guts? Absolutely not, because there are far worse places than Israel. Like Palestine. As for my gay sex? Yeah, I'll enjoy it. Especially when I'm with my boyfriend. Oh, and P.S. I'm nowhere near as close to being a neocon. You make a lot of claims, but present no facts. For those who don't know, this is in reference to my video, American Politics, Response to Second Thought. Second Thought had made the claim that Donald Trump is a right-wing authoritarian, and that Bernie Sanders is a center-left centrist. You can't make this sh up. As for not presenting facts, well, I provide sources to back my opinion. I do say some actual factual things, mostly specifically with Bernie Sanders, because that I found just abhorrently egregious to say. Calling the guy a centrist is like calling Hitler a saint. Anyone in their right mind would know that Bernie Sanders is not anywhere close to being a centrist. Now, as for Donald Trump and the claim that he's a right-wing authoritarian, also anyone in their right mind would know he's not an authoritarian. Right-wing? Yeah, you can make the argument there. But a authoritarian? No. The guy isn't against freedom of speech. Yes, he said he wanted to make burning the flag illegal, but that's as far as he really went. Now, as for gun rights, he was a bit more restrictive in that area compared to other more right-wing people. At the most, he would be a moderate authoritarian level person. I'm not saying he would be a libertarian, but at the most he would be a moderate, not some extreme authoritarian. That's just ridiculous. Oh, wow. All this is just as stupid as YouTube. Instead of moronic liberal propaganda, we get moronic conservative propaganda. Double the entertainment. Yay! <laughs> oh, the enlightened centrist. Whatever would we do without you? Time for conservatives to rethink their priorities. If MAGA conservatives want libertarians to be a part of their tribe, they should halt their attacks on the free market then actually run in the party rather than running in a party that will never win. The Libertarian Party can never win because people don't vote for them. So don't vote Libertarian. Vote for the deranged jackals that stand against everything Libertarianism stands for. Haha, <laughs> I'm smart. Gotcha. Then to this comment, I responded with the straw man video. I didn't use any straw man. Do you not know what words mean? Maybe that's why you support a socialist president and a socialist political party, but think you're a conservative. After this, I guess I upset the Lolbatarian so much, he blocked me. Now to end the video with one last comment. What's your discord? I want to debate you, white boy, because I think you're racist, sexist, and homophobic, and I have a lot of Antifas telling me about how horrible of a person you are. Well, that's it for this series of stupidity from my hate comments. If you liked this video, please give it a like, subscribe, share it, comment down below, and tell me what you thought. And of course, watch some of my other hate comments videos. I'm sure you'll get an enjoyment out of seeing that stupidity. Do all this, and I'll see y'all later. Thank you.